Yo, what's going on everybody, it's iPod King Carter here, the Superman of YouTube. Like my boy Fabulous said, I got a bunch of Ray Allens around me, and when I mean Ray Allens, I mean the shooters. I got six of the top shooters that I ever seen before. I got my boy Larry Bird, I got Pager, I got Dirk Nowinski, I got Kevin Love, I got Steve Kerr, and of course you know I got Ray Ray. Ray Allen, Jesus, Shuttlesworth definitely has to be in the lineup. So I'm ready to sit back, relax, watch, the, watch these six shooters do their thing. You know me, man. I'm about to grab my popcorn, sit back, and relax. I hope you guys watching with me because I'm going to be oohing the eye throughout the whole video. But we ain't going to get into that. We're going to get into this. So let's go. Hello, everyone. Welcome to All-Star 2013. We're in the great city of Houston, Texas for one of the most exciting nights of the NBA season. I'm Kevin Harlan. And with me by my side, Steve Kerr and Clark Kellogg. And now it's time for the Foot Locker three-point contest. The long-range assassins of the NBA have come together to show off their skills from beyond the arc. For a lot of folks, this is actually their favorite All-Star event. There's a lot of drama. It always seems to come down to the wire. So let's well, get it on. Well, it's an event that I really enjoy, guys. Uh, you know, anytime you get the best shooters in the NBA together to duke it out, it's going to be a good time. These guys on this roster tonight can all really stroke it. And so here's Bird now. He'll have 60 seconds to get off 25 shots from beyond the arc. Yeah, and with each Let's make go. counting as one point, except the last ball of each rack, which counts for two. Yeah, that's the money ball, Clark, and those shots are usually the ones that end up deciding this contest. And I know he's going out there with the mindset of just relax, have fun, and see what happens. Well, that's a great way to approach it because really the shootout is, is all about fun. It's for the players, it's for the fans. It, it's not anything to, to put a ton of pressure on yourself for. So whoever's most relaxed, I think, has the best chance. Money ball, no good. Ten points on the board. Eleven points. He's got twelve. These shots are like layups for Larry. Tremendous. That's five straight. He's getting on a roll. There we go. He finishes off the round with 19 points. Now that's how you do it. Outstanding focus throughout the round. Yeah, it was a terrific start. He was feeling it from the get-go. So it'll be Peja Stiakovic here. You definitely want to try to get off to a good start because, guys, I'll tell you, if you whiff that first rack, it can really throw you off and keep you off. Oh, no question, Clark. That rack comes so quickly, the clock's ticking, and all of a sudden you're you're behind and you, you press, and it's tough to shoot when you're really trying to force the issue. He's got five. I was six. Well, he's off to a decent start, guys. That's four in a row now. Up to ten now. He could have taken more from that rack, only got two points. 11 on the board. You'd only get one shot to fall off the rack. That's four misses in a row. He's got 12. That's 13. He's at 14. He posts a score of 14. I'd say he handled that round pretty well, guys. There were a few ups and downs, but overall, it turned out to be a fairly decent round. Yeah, I'd give him kind of a B-plus for that one. You know, you hope for more, but uh, it probably lived up to a reasonable expectation for him. And so here's Love now. Well, you have to give credit to Love because he didn't really have an NBA-ready three-point shot when he came into the league. It's something that he's worked hard at and really dedicated himself to in terms of improving. Just over two seconds a shot is all you've got if you're going to use all 25 balls. So there's no time to take a deep breath and gather yourself after a miss. Yeah, that's right, Clark. And that's why it's so easy to, to get out of whack and, and start firing away and shooting too quickly, not really focusing on the rim. And if you do that, uh, then you're at risk of really losing all momentum and falling out of the competition. Come on now. Trains the money ball. He's in sole possession of second place. And the big fella loves really locked in now, guys. The round ends, and he's got 19. Guys, hard to find any fault with that display. Well, we all know how important the money balls are in this event, and he hit four out of five of them. That's very good work. 
So it's Dirk Nowitzki ready to go. It's interesting. Nowitzki has always been a good three-point shooter, but he relied on the shot more early in his career. Nowadays, he does a lot more work in close. It's all about establishing the rhythm early on and then keeping it going throughout the round. Am I right, Steve? Oh, yeah, for sure. If you get off to a slow start in this competition, Clark, you're in big trouble because the clock starts to tick. You start to panic a little bit. You start to rush. Uh, you really need to find that groove early, and then you can gain your confidence and let it roll. He needs six more points. Two racks remaining. Six more points to stick around. Off the mark with five in a row now. He's really cooling off here. Nine points. Down to the final rack. Three more points to stay in contention. Twelve for him. In the end, it's a 12-point round for him. Well, I, I didn't expect that score to be as low as it was. What about you guys? Yeah, it seemed like every time he was starting to get into a good rhythm, he just couldn't capitalize on it. He quickly fall out of his pace. So it'll be Ray Allen here. You know, a lot of people call Ray Allen a born shooter, uh, but it really undervalues the work that he's put in to develop that shot. The, the work ethic that he displays is really amazing. The routine that he has before each and every game. He's got to get at least 14. And he knows he can get this well within his abilities. Four more points to stay alive. 11 points. He's hit all three money balls. One more to stay alive. That shot ties him for third. That's exactly the score he needed to get himself in the third place and secure a spot in the finals. Rock solid shooting down the stretch. That equals the best score of this round, Kevin. Cool, he knocks down his fifth straight. He's all the way up there at 23 points. Wow, that was something else, guys. We don't see too many performances like that. Yeah, his last rack in particular was stellar, guys. With the clock winding down, he drained all five shots no. to get maximum points. And here we go with Steve Kerr. Well, Steve Kerr, obviously a no-brainer for a competition like this. The best career three-point percentage shooter in NBA history, over 45%. This is it, Steve, bringing up the rear. Yeah, you know, everyone's already put forward with their best effort already. So he knows the number to beat. He knows what he's up against. And now it's just a matter of getting into his group. He needs eight points more, not just 13. Steve, you're really looking pretty sharp out there, fella. <laughs> Very nice. He is, Clark. You're right. Steve, what do you think about how three-point shooting has evolved over the years? Well, more and more guys are shooting the three. Uh, guys, I mean, these days, you get four, five, six players on a team that shoot multiple threes, so it's become a very popular shot. A very strong 20 points for him. He was really enjoying himself out there that time, guys. Yeah, he was really flowing at that point after he went five for five on that second rack. Ellen's got the highest score from round one. All he's got to do now, guys, is repeat that performance in the finals. And just amazing scores up to this point. I mean, these guys have pushed each other to new heights this year. I love it. Well, this is what you hope for coming into the shootout. Just great shooters at the top of their game battling it out. And here we go with Larry Bird. The shot clock's at 24 seconds. He better be ready to put up some points in a hurry. Now with four. Nearly perfect there. Just one miss on the rack. And so here's Love now. Usher's on. He's got 24 seconds to top the score and move on. Well, he shouldn't need all five racks to top that mark. I mean, he could get there early. Two points. He better get it in gear here. He's taking a little bit too much time. He's got to pick up his pace now. Four points. Five points now. He's behind on the clock. He needs to pick up the pace here. So Kevin Love is all set to go. Looking back over the league, a lot of players have been able to add a three-pointer to their arsenal, but it's not something that usually happens 
so fast or so easily as it has hard for Kevin Love. Yeah, he's really made it look easy, Kevin. With the way he shoots now, it's incredible to think he didn't have this kind of range just a couple of seasons ago. But again, it points out what the work during the offseason can do for, for a player that's willing to put that time in. Can't get the money ball. He's got five, six. Oh, really on the roll now. He's dialing it in here, guys. Feeling a good through. Oh, yeah. Well, he's starting to get it going. His eighth in a row. He is on fire. One last rack remains. Hits for 15. He's got 16. Now with 17. A total of 17 points that he'll take away from that round. That was a nice piece of shooting we saw from him out there. Well, how about nine straight? I mean, come on, that says a lot. It shows you how dangerous his touch is from outside. So it'll be Steve Kerr here. 17 points to tie it up. 18 points would put him ahead. Money ball, no good. Now with four. He's got five. Steve, can you still knock down the triples like that? What we're seeing right there? Clark, I'm telling you, I caught Steve down on the floor earlier practicing. Trying to sneak in some practice, huh? Exactly. Getting the strokes up there and getting that rhythm down. I think he's got it. Yeah, but the problem was I was winded after like 30 seconds. Very good shape anymore, guys. Steve Kerr looking a lot younger than he actually is. Very good rhythm out there on that stroke. That's our very own doing that. I can't believe that, Kevin. That's a surprise, you, but you got to love it, Clark. Probably during All-Star Weekend, baby, where you see stuff like this, he's uh, he's out there with the big boys, so to speak. Handling his business, he too. Is, right? Grabbing the lumber. I'll take <laughs> his swings at it. Good for him. Just glad they let the old-timers come back every once in a while. <laughs> <laughs> he comes away with a score of 21 on the round. His stroke looked terrific in that round, guys. Well, the key was, Kevin, he took six out of a possible ten points from the money ball. I and mean, those are huge points. Uh, you've got to take advantage of them, and he did. And so we'll see Ray Allen. We've reached the climax. He's got one last shot to go home with the trophy. He just needs 21 points to tie it up. Nothing easy, though. Nine points. Up to ten now. Gets the money ball. Eight more points for him to tie it up. Ooh, wow, Ray's got it going now. Up to 15 now. Four more points, and it's time. That gives him 18. Ray's getting into a nice little groove here. Two more to tie it up. He comes away with a score of 21 on the round. Boy, he looked great out there, didn't he? Yeah, at one point, he knocked in seven in a row and was locked in for a while there. There was some good shooting going on. So it'll be Steve Kerr here. 60 seconds should give him plenty of time to get through all five racks and apply some heat. Let's do this. Makes his first there. That's two. Three down. Can't get the money ball. Now with four. He's got five. Six. And that's his fourth straight. Had a decent start here, guys. Now eight points. Nine points. Money ball, no good. Misses for the fourth straight time. His fifth consecutive miss. He's got ten. A three-point rack for him right there. Not just 13. Now 14. He gets his tally up to 16 points. Up next, Ray Allen. And Allen so devoted and meticulous with his practice habits. Let's go. Reggie Miller always said the habits this guy possesses are amongst the best he's ever seen. No question about that. Care and focus, one of the keys to his success. I would say the bedrock to his success. Yeah. Because it was repetitive, and he put in the time, and he never deviated from that. He's reached this level because of the time he continues to put in to knock down shots at a high level. Boy, what a start he's got going here. Boy, he's heating up, guys. That's 13. He's at 14. 
Three good racks in a row, shooting the ball well. That makes it four straight for him. Now up to 18. He's up to his sixth consecutive make. He's made all four money balls. Up to 22. Now 23. That makes it four straight for him. A huge score, 26 points. And as we close out the Foot Locker three-point contest, we can safely say that one man shooting tonight was absolutely remarkable. This year's champion, Ray Allen. It was a great event. There's always so much excitement packed into the three-point contest. Yeah, no question, Clark. Those were some real theatrics we saw out there today. And the drama, the excitement, this year's three-point contest had it all. And it was our pleasure to bring it to you. For myself, Kevin Harlan, and my partners, Clark Kellogg and Steve Kerr, thank you, everyone, and good night.